Hello! I am Ryan, and with me is Megan. This is Wolfboro Community Television, the small station with a big heart. Thank you for watching. And uh, what are we doing on Around the Town? Because that's what you're watching. I got a little serious on there for a second there. Was there that's what we're doing right now? Around the Town? Yeah, we're in the uh -oh. town hall. Oh. You didn't tell me this was Around the Town. Well, I, I am telling you now. Great. Yeah. And we're at the new town hall, which opens on October 7th. And it just so happens that our first event of this week is on October 7th. That's convenient. Yeah. Town hall, amazing, by the way. So excited to spend some time in there. Special thank you to Rob Hausman. Yes, thank you. For giving us a special tour. Uh, and there will be more on that at, here at the TV station later on coming up. Uh, but otherwise, you know, go pay your town bills there and check out all the new... -ness. Yeah, I got to yeah. ring the bell. Yeah. Oh, the clock. <gasps> Coolest thing ever. Oh, I you turned, have to stay tuned, I though. am such a dork. I can't even begin yeah. to tell you. Well, don't get them all excited. We're, we're not going to show all you right. a clip yet. Right. We'll I show won't. you later on. It'll no play more. later on next week. So okay. uh, you'll see it then. All right. What's happening at Castle in the Clouds, October 7th at 5 Thank yeah. you for bringing that back around for You're me. Welcome. So um, Gala and the Jack Mountain Bushcraft School have been holding these workshop series once a month. Uh, they're called Resilience Workshops. And this month's is going to be Compass and Map Navigation 101. And that's happening from 5 to 7 at Castle in the Clouds. They do like it when you pre-register, so you can give them a call at 603-569-6460 to get your spot for that. So, and it being fall and hunting season and all that sort of stuff coming, you know, map navigation is important, mm. Mm -hmm. especially in times of no GPS. Yes, and yeah. if your phone battery just happens to die right when you're lost in the woods. Right, if you turn Siri off, you know, could be unfortunate, mm. but... Anyway, moving on to October 13th, what's happening? Is that a Friday? I believe it is. Oh, my. Mm. It, it, it's rare when it happens, but I love Friday the 13th because I always watch horror movies. Anyways, this October 13th at 1 p.m., you can mm -hmm. go to the Wolfboro Public Library to discuss The Black Count. Do you think it's Dracula? No. It has to do with the Count of Monte Cristo. Ah. I yeah. thought they were going to say it without, uh, It's okay. That sounds interesting, All right. too. You could go and talk about that and argue. That's what a discussion is about, right? And argue why it should be about right, Dracula. But that's, I think that's a debate. <laughs> well, no. I mean, it's a discussion. You invite it like a question, and you just keep <laughs> re it out. Yeah. On a serious note, what's coming up? Ah, yes, coming up on October 17th. Now, bear in mind, this particular event is not happening here in town, but it is on behalf of someone who is from this town and went to high school here as well. So the James Foley Legacy 5K is going to be happening at 10 a.m. at the Rochester Fairgrounds in Rochester. Uh, again, while it's out of town, James Foley was a graduate here of Kingswood uh, and definitely well-remembered in this town. His, his death was uh, absolutely tragic in my opinion and Very so untimely. the proceeds yes and the proceeds from the race will benefit the James Foley Legacy Foundation so great foundation to be supporting um, and certainly a great way to remember him so that'll be happening October 17th at 10 a.m. all right also happening October 17th at 10 a.m. what is it Re your birthday no, really it's not your birthday. really you're gonna look at me like that you don't know what's happening October 17th at 10 a.m. Is there a buffet? In Cape Park? Oh, I'll be uh, talking, doing a workshop, right? Oh, he, yeah, you think? I should put that in my phone. Mm. So the phone? <clears throat> first annual Wolfboro Community Television Scarecrow Buffet and Display will be happening in Cape Park from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a workshop for you to come and build businesses, families, Individuals can come and build. We'll have all the materials available to you to build a scarecrow. It's pretty I, awesome. You said build families. I was like, build families of sca scarecrows. <laughs> yes, that too. And then we're going to put them on display in K Park for the following week for everybody to enjoy. Or you can take them home if you want. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Avery Insurance because they are one of our sponsors. Thank you, Avery Insurance. Mm hmm. So what, what, what if the uh, people at home listening want to give a donation? What, oh, what they, can they, call, they can call us here at the station, 603-569-0219. Ask for Ryan or myself, and we will help you out with all those opportunities. So we are open to donations of materials of any kind or uh, financial support as well. If it is a fundraiser here for the station. If for some reason you're scared of phones, we also have a website. What? 
Yeah, we have a website. You can wow. email us and message us. It goes right to me or Megan, and we will get right back to you. Yeah. So come check it out. It's going to be a great event. So um, something else that's fun and happening mm -hmm. on the 24th, mm -hmm. it's Ultimate Frisbee. Yeah. 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 So the, um, I believe this is the class of 2017. I can't even believe we're saying the class of 2017. I don't know. I feel old. Yeah, a little bit. I was the well, class. Well, I am older today. I would, yeah. Yes, for those of you who aren't aware, the day of Ryan was this past week. So here he is. Thank you for everyone who made it very special for a me yesterday. Older. For flying out of your classrooms full of kids and saying happy birthday just to me. It made me feel great. <laughs> and for all the kids that hid in my room and then blew confetti in my face. <laughs> thank you. It was awesome. <laughs> it was Anyway. Great. Yes. <clears throat> The class of 2017 is holding an ultimate Frisbee tournament here on the Kingswood Fields uh, at Kingswood High School. They're going to have the concession stand open and all the proceeds from the admission to play in the tournament, as well as the concession stand uh, sales and all that sort of stuff, go to, towards the class of 2017. So, um, more Kylie. importantly, yeah, stay fierce, Kylie. Yeah, she's That's one of the ones that just threw stuff at me, so... Yeah. Yeah, and, and we love her. So yes. she does help us out here at the studio as well. So, yeah. And more on that, mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. every morning on Channel 26, you can see Kylie for yourself. She's doing morning announcements for uh, Kingswood. That's right. Yeah. She's our little pro. Yes. Okay. Sports! It's about time. <laughs> Have at Are it. you want me to go? Okay. Yeah. August 5th, not August, October 5th. I just, I miss the summer. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it. you always sub. August and October. I, I don't, they just sound alike to me, except for the A and the O. You know what? Let's, oh. let's, let's okay. go on. What, so what's happening October, October 5th? October 5th, which is a Monday. Uh, Kingswood Volleyball versus Prospect Mountain. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Go root, root them on. They are on a winning streak. So are they still? Really? I think so. Wow. I think so. Are they like undefeated at least all still? The, at least on home games, they've been winning at all of them. I don't mm. get to film the away games. Right. But, um, We're going to have to get a status update on that for sure. Yeah. Because they have been kicking some serious butt. And then coming up October 6th, Kingswood Regional High School Field Hockey versus, I believe, it's gone. That's okay. If there's a game yeah. at 4 p.m. Lebanon. They're playing Lebanon, Lebanon. at 4 p.m. That's she what got it, it is. Pulled it right oh. out of the sky. <laughs> If you're wondering, first of all, there's going to be a lot of games going on. It's going to be, I believe it's homecoming week. It is homecoming week. Yeah. So it's also going to be spirit week. Yeah, so we're going to have to get some green and white, white. colored shirts yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, we're Maybe wearing black today. Song. How does that go again? <laughs> like I'll, wait. I'll wait till next week. Anyways, mm -hmm. uh, where did we leave off? Also on the 6th, uh, yes. the girls' soccer team is playing Summersworth at 3.30 p.m. Uh, note that some of these chimes do change given the fact that we've just had a lot of rain so um things could are be getting moved around things get so moved around so you can go they have a website yes you can go on the the governor wentworth website and they can take you right to our school and there's a whole listing and a schedule and there's a fan zone they're having a little trouble with the fan zone stuff but you could call right here too i don't have the number on top of my head but just call the school and ask for aaron house or cindy and they can tell you what the schedules are Awesome. So coming up on October 7th, it will be Volleyball Again versus Plymouth, and they'll be playing at 6 p.m. here at the high school. Brewster Boys Soccer versus Philip Exeter at 3 p.m. Mm. They're is always it, I really feel like good. this is like the first boys game. It is. They've been like away for like the whole month. Yeah, and now, and they're, now they're finally here. Yeah, right. Awesome. And they had a game yesterday, but it got rained out. Oh. That's why we're talking Yeah, about. it was a monsoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hurricane Juan. Yeah. Okay, then Juan. coming up. Sorry. October 9th, Friday night football! But before we get to football, there's like four other games. It's a teaser. Gotcha! Uh, you said the volleyball versus Guilford at 6 p.m.? Uh, no, see, there's Plymouth, and then on the 9th, oh they're playing Guilford. It's like crazy volleyball. All right, let's start at the top. All right. October 9th, girls mm -hmm. volleyball versus Guilford are going to be at 6 p.m. in the gym. Mm -hmm. Then next... Is the uh, girls soccer versus Raymond at 4 p.m. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then Brewster girls soccer versus St. Mark's at 4 p.m. And then Brewster field hockey versus Vermont at 4:30 p.m. The whole and state. then the whole state. The whole. That's what it's Vermont it said. Academy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not fair. Football. Football. 7 p.m. Under Conval. lights. Versus Conval. Conval. Regional. Mm -hmm. 7 p.m. 
you can always come and say hi to me. I had uh, people come visit me last time up in the booth. It was oh, awesome. They're awesome. all like, hey, Hot Pocket. We're hoping for a win. You can come say hello to me. Yeah. Or not. We care. heart you, Kingswood Football. We believe in you. Yep. You're going to We are the it. small station with a big heart, and we give it to you. Bye, bye, bye. That was a little much. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is that all we have? Any shout-outs? I outs? think so. Other well, than to the I think sports we, teams yeah, that are I mean, going on? Right. Uh, you know, happy homecoming week and all that good stuff. Good luck with all your games. Uh, stay yeah, fierce. Shishkumba. Kylie, um, thank you to Avery Insurance for your support uh, here at the station. And, again, i got to say a shout-out to Rob Hausman. He is certainly got lots going on at that town hall, and it's been um, quite the project, and he's super excited about it, and it was fun to spend some time with him. Uh, and also a special thank you to Clark's Grain Store up in Osprey, New Hampshire, who are donating their hay chaff to us to be able to build our scarecrows. Part of the buffet. Mm-hmm. Essential part of the buffet. The it meat, is. if you will. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, yes. Good one. That is a good one. I don't know what to say now. It rarely happens. <laughs> How about you wrap it up? <laughs> wrap it up. Okay. Stay classy, Wolfboro. What he said. Talk about, about the part like, like hair, 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 cheek, tongue, tooth, to tongue, right. span a lot. Move your head, move Rudy your bigger, head, just bump, just bump, loosen up. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and serious. Uh -oh. New show. Mm. The station, the small station with a big heart. Start that again. I thought you were going to do the. Shake it off. I will. Shake it off, because you were like, seriously? Just be comfortable with yourself. I'm comfortable with myself. <laughs> Thank I you, feel know shorter I mean. than TV says. <laughs> 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 Shake it out.